for newcomers, we make a declaration before ever offering because we're giving God the credit and the glory for blessing us. Amen? That's what it's all about. Are you all ready? Let's give today's offering. We're believing the Lord for jobs and better jobs, businesses and better businesses, raises and bonuses, benefits, sales and commission, settlements, estates and inheritance, interest and income, rebates and return, checks in the mail, gifts and surprises, finding money and bills paid off, and debts demolished, royalties received, supernatural increase on investments made, and souls for our inheritance. It's offering season. time. Don't let Hallelujah. Stop well, bring it on down that to the front. Your gift guide you and direct you as the Holy Spirit moves in your life. Amen. That's all I have. Are you all ready to make a declaration? Now, we, for newcomers, we make a declaration before ever offering because we're giving God the credit and the glory for blessing. Today is your man. That's what it's all about. Are you all ready? Let's give today's offering. We're believing the Lord for it. Jobs and better jobs. Businesses and better businesses. Raises and bonuses. Benefits. Sales and commissions. Settlements. Estates and inheritance. Interest and income. Rebates and returns. Checks and debates. Gifts and strikes. Finding money and bills paid off. And debts to mobs. Royalties received. Supernatural increase on investments made. And Souls for inheritance. It's offering time. Hallelujah. We'll bring it on down to you. So wonderful to me. Oh, what a great God you are. And we will praise you, Lord. Forevermore. Forevermore. Come here. person that's ever attended this church. Adrian had hey, her on Tuesday, kinda, move and on Wednesday night, on. less than a day Come old, on, she Debbie, attended baby. this church and has been here ever since. We want to thank Mom Anybody and Daddy for come? making sure Stephen and this baby is at this church well, receiving the things of God, kid, growing up to be young men and women up. of God, and we just thank God for her. Amen? And Pastor Praise loves God. you. Okay, guys, y'all come here. Come over here to Pastor. Sharp we love you. Matter of fact, the rest of the kids need Sharp to come forward at here. this time, and I want to have them pray for me come this on. morning. Y'all come on in. We over have here, a Evan. tremendous time. Here, baby. All the kids, come up. What's your name? Y'all come on down Amy. to the front. So good to have you. Come right on down. It's so good to have you. Evan likes, okay. uh, he likes to put himself on the altar all the time. Pastor loves y'all. It's a good deal you. to have him on the altar, isn't it? And God loves you. Praise Jesus. God. It's good to see you this morning. We'll receive you, have you. When you make mistakes, you come back to him, right? So put your hands in here, would you? Come on. Okay, y'all are kind of, this is going over this, this way a little bit. Week. Come on. Come okay, on down here, baby. Right here. Put them right here. Put your hand on. Put your hand here. 
Get Anybody else want to come? You can get in there. Squeeze in. Put it on here. Well, you're still a kid, to but you grew up. Tanner, you better get that hand. Praise Heaven. God. Put your hand right up here on top. Okay, guys, y'all come Father here. God. Come over here to Pastor. Sharp one's up front. I pray that the parents and Sharp grandparents front. of these children here. will. Right here. Come on. Operate Y'all come on in. in over here, Evan. Call them too. Come over here, baby. These children. What's your name? Teach them and train Amy. them the way they so should good go. To have you. Let peace be in every household. So good to have you. Okay. Father, we ask that the angels protect them as they Pastor grow up. Pastor loves y'all. Do you know it? That no harm will come to them. And God loves you. And that they will Jesus know you to the uttermost. And they will have receive no reserve. You have you when you make mistakes, you come back to him. I ask right. that the Holy Spirit of the living God, even so this your day, in here, would you come on? Come to them in their own class. This is called our holy minister of the to them. Week. And give okay, them peace them and right joy in Jesus' right name. And the children said, put, put your hand here. Amen. Hand okay, here, guys, y'all go and squeeze in. Put it on here. I want everybody touching. Praise the Can Lord. So everyone, and we do have a nursery, I believe, today, don't we? If anybody needs to Father go, the God. nurseries this way for newcomers. and There'll be I someone out there to direct the parents and grandparents of these children will operate effectively in the it's way so good to have margaret andrews today margaret she represents the american academy that peace be in, in constitution household. constitutional Father, education the angels protect them uh, and it's a con up. it's a tremendous thing to educate america to about our constitution you to the uttermost and uh, have no matter of fact on saturday february the 14th i ask that the holy they're going to be here God, even this sean day. Come to them in their own class. Shane Krauser, minister. To he's them. an attorney. He and teaches on the Constitution. We had the privilege of listening to him about Amen. 45 minutes. Okay, guys. I probably learned going. more in that 45 minutes about the Constitution than I've known my whole life. I couldn't believe what he brought out. We'll have an eight-hour course here. It's ten dollars on the 14th so of February. February Mark, we do have a nursery calendar to be here. Is so good to go and so informative. Way for newcomers. I believe the Constitution of the United States was based on this book, and we have uh, freedoms that we it's have so been good to have that Margaret we need to come back today. and get educated Margaret on and stand up as a Christian. She represents the American Academy of this nation. In I know that people have fallen away. Constitutional uh, education. We looked at the stats uh, Wednesday night, and it's a, con it's but a tremendous come thing as an awakening America takes place about our Constitution. It will be no different than and, David uh, being on the mountain Saturday with his sheep, February the 14th, and going down to the battlefront with some Sean sandwiches for his Krauser. brother, Krauser. Shane and he went Krauser. down with one He's reason in mind to feed the brothers, the not knowing there was a the major problem with a minutes. giant called Goliath. I probably learned more in that 45 that for minutes 40 about days the Constitution come out I've known my whole and life. I couldn't believe the armies of the what he brought God. out. It made we'll have David an so upset here, and mad on the 14th that he of rose up and said, Who is this giant be that here defies so good and so the armies of the living God? And they're all sitting around their campfires. And we talking have, about how big uh, that giant was, no one would go out. Even Saul that we need to wouldn't go out. He was the big king of the day. A Christian and, and, and no one nation. would go out and face the I enemy. Mean, we've merely been like away. that in our churches. We've been uh, in our campfires. We the we've been Wednesday sitting around, night. but we have allowed but our nation to be taken over takes by demonic forces, be no by taking God out of the churches as far as the power of God. And, and letting down foreign to the gods invade our nation, and we should have been stronger than they And he went down with one reason in mind to feed the brothers, not knowing there was a major so problem already with a giant I've called Goliath God forgive me for not that for 40 days has come speak. out and defied so the armies bold, of the living be God. It made Spirit David so upset and bold. mad that he rose and up and said, Who is this, this giant is that defies the, reckoning. This is the armies of the living God? And they're all sitting around their campfires the talking about how big that giant was. No one would go out. Even Saul wouldn't go out. He was the big king of the day. By the and, church, and, we're and no one would go out and face the enemy. And we've never been like that in our churches. We've been in our campfires. We've been sitting around, but we have allowed our nation to be taken over 
by demonic that forces, if we don't contend, by taking God out we'll of the church win. as far as the but power if we of God, contend and letting foreign gods invade of God, we our will nation, get and we victory. should have been stronger than that. And so I want to encourage you today that the scriptures. So are very I've explicit, already very repented. sure. Says, I've asked God to forgive me for not speaking boldly the way, for for bold the way I want to speak. Now, when I read so this if I scripture, speak bold today, it'll be because the Holy Spirit I tells me president, I to think speak of Obama. Boldly. Because and I know I it's hard to understand this right. is a time of reckoning. Proverbs this is a 14, time 12 says that we there is a way which seemeth right unto a man, the way God tells but us the to end operate, thereof are the we ways need to of understand death. that we're contending for a championship run Amen. by the church. We're contending the scripture for faith. May be very and we're contending to, to get results from Oftentimes what we look at the about the living God. Losing souls. And if but we it don't goes contend, we will never it's, win. It's, it's much different Everybody say that if we don't faith contend, and operational faith. We'll never salvation win. Salvation faith. But if we contend in, in, uh, for in Romans, results to the kingdom of God, if you Jesus we will the God. He died for your sins on the third day, rose again. You believe this? So I want to encourage you today. Unto that salvation. The then James said, Let me see your works with your faith. He said, Let me see you operating there is a way in the things which seem of God, right unto a man. Walking forward in the things now, of when God, I read letting the word of God, the promises of God, even manifest though I pray for a president, life. I think of Obama. You understand what I'm because saying? I know so it is hard. He what we need to right. understand, we're contending, and I thought about Proverbs 14, George 12 says, There is a wave which seemeth right unto for a the man, heavyweight championship but of the world. There is one of the ways of death. He could win, but it took a lot of preparation. It took time. He couldn't abuse himself. He couldn't Amen. waste his time. He had his the focus. He wanted to wear that buckle. To he you. wanted to be known as a heavyweight look at champion of the world. Losing souls, and I, but and it I goes way beyond that. It's, it's much see. different between salvation faith and operational faith. Salvation faith is talking about we in, in, uh, entering into in Romans. a season. It talks about if you believe no Jesus is the Son of God, he died and did it his season in his life, you believe that we in your need to, with your mouth we've been prepared. Unto salvation. Then James had said, preparation. let me see your works Most with your faith. He said, let me see you operating in the things years. of God. Now Walking we're coming to a season to rise up in the power of God, the Almighty God, God manifest to allow the Holy life. Spirit to invade the church You understand again. what I'm saying? The so Holy what Spirit what has we need to, to understand human we're beings contending and in the church about to be effective George outside Foreman. the walls. So contending when we begin for the to heavyweight championship it, of the world, just, there was one buckle just he could good win, but it took a lot of preparation. Come it took time to know he who you are, to stand up, and be the time. mouthpiece of he God in the earth. He wanted to win that buckle, and the feet of God in the earth, as a heavyweight champion of the world. As you do this, and I and Paul said this. I would think Paul would need this prayer, but he said, "I pray that I speak boldly the way I ought to speak. I pray that this congregation come alive." In God like never before, the Holy no Spirit in George your private time, his season and you begin to speak boldly need, the way you are to all we've over this prepared. town, all the way to we had to the Capitol building, and let it affect our nation for 40, 50 years. Why? Because it now we're be coming to a season the to rise up in the power and presence of Almighty God to allow the Holy but Spirit to need someone to carry the church again. The Holy Spirit has to he invade needs a human, human being to carry the message. church to be effective outside and the so, walls. So we say so there's a way that seems right unto men, but they just wind up in not hell. Just there is, however, also a way to come to, church. Church. Right to a Christian. You come to be a and this way to can destroy. You to stand if you get so and be the focused on your God in the earth, the hands of God in the earth, and the feet of God in the earth, if you get so focused on where you missed it, if you get so focused, Paul said this. I would think you were very successful. Now you retired. He said, I pray that I speak boldly. If you get so focused on I pray that this congregation to run a life. To God, to like draw your vision, it can Spirit run your marriage, your and it can cripple time, your finances. And you begin to speak boldly the way you are to all over this mountain, right now, all the way to Phoenix, to the four different buildings, and let it affect our good nation. And big in a down economy. Why? But because we're always looking you for God to open up another it would business be God's venture. You say, well, you you that would affect a the nation. Man, but he what? needs someone to carry a king and a priest. He needs a human being to carry the operate in business. And, and also so operate in the church to say there's a way that seems right to unto men, but they God and rise up, up in hell. That's there my anointing. David was a king and a priest. I'm Christian. telling you, 
we and can open our can eyes. eyes. There's if so many opportunities so out there. On your it's unbelievable. If you get so focused on your wounds, if you get so focused on the where only you reason it, that you, you won't so see one is if you like let your used to be, you were very successful. Now you retired. You vision. didn't think it would wind up like this. If Amen. you get so focused on those so, things, it can lead to ruin. It can destroy this your vision. It can ruin your circumstances, and it can cripple you can your finances, your dreams. It can, it can. I actually destroy right now, your cooperative in four and the ministry you're supposed ventures to be that in. are good and big in a down economy. But we're always looking for God to open up another business. It is a way of the well, enemy. It is a way a of anything what? other than anointed the word of God. It is something and priest. that tries to limit you, make you look at I'm well, anointed to operate in business, uh, and I'm also operating was, uh, the church to encourage other people to walk with in West God and rise Texas, up strong. Uh, That's my anointing. Uh, David was a king and a priest. I'm telling three you, three days apart we can open our eyes. There's so many opportunities out there. Living it's for unbelievable. For there was no welfare. He was a very the intelligent reason, man, but that's the one is formal education. But it did not stop his education. your vision. He accepted Amen. the Lord the next year at 16 so, years old, and he began to receive revelation this from idea God. He began to open his own businesses, he began you to run his own business dreams. He it met can, my wonderful can, mother, I put them together, your and they lived a very the successful you're life to because to be of what God taught him and trained him, because he was willing to do what God said. It is a way of the enemy. It is a way so what I'm saying of is, anything other the than the word of God. It is something that tries to limit you make and you look at him well, I had with the, the word of the living God uh, on a 24-hour basis. A, one of 13 you kids. can't be part-time Christians anymore. Uh, uh, my grandma and granddad died three days apart when he was 15 years old. He had five younger sisters that he had to make a living for, for there was no welfare. What I'm saying is this. We he was a very intelligent man, mama but that and daddy and grandma and granddad, but they're gone now. But it did not stop we're his education. the coattails that our kids have to ride on. He and we the must Lord the next face year the issue. 16 years we must old, face the circumstances. And he began to receive and revelation from God. From God he began to open his own businesses. And he began to run and be effective in this season. He met my wonderful mother. God put them and together, do that and they lived a very resources or life own because power. of what you God taught him trust and trained him because he was willing to do what God Amen. said. So, so what I'm saying I'm is this, to say this the out devil loud. will take advantage of According anyone who to the does not to know and contend with the, the kingdom word of, God. of the living God on a 24-hour oh, no, basis. Go the other way, didn't you? you can't be part-time this Christians anymore. According to the Constitution of the Kingdom, and a great hush. I have authority over the thief. I have what authority over the murderer. We rode the coattails it is delegated of mom and daddy, authority, grandma and granddad, but they're gone now. And it now, is resident and in me. the coattails that our kids have to ride because on. Because it's resident. And we must face the issue and the integrity we face the circumstances of God's and word. And we must let the gift of and God inside word us. Come alive is and me. rise up and be effective I in this season. Not. Back up. And you won't do I that will in your own back. resources or your own I natural will power. You've to got to trust in a supernatural God. For he God. is my source. Amen. He brings resources to me. So, Spirit, I want us to say this out loud. And body. According to the Constitution. My God supplies of the kingdom I ever need. I declare. I was going to go the other way, didn't you? That the resources. This is our constitution. That the economy, according to the constitution the United of, of America, the kingdom, will not. I have pull authority me down. over the thief. The economy. I have authority the over the murder. Of God's word will put it me over. It is delegated authority. For I choose to believe in God, and it is resident in me. And His promises above because natural things. Because it's resident things. in Jesus' name. In the integrity. Name. Amen. Of God's word, you see, and His word. How will is you in walk me? upright? I will not back up. I Unless will you know not look right. back. The book is what's right. I will only this look to This is the him. guidebook. This is the covenant. For He is my source. We're trying to train people about the U.S. Constitution. To me. I try Spirit, every Wednesday and every Sunday and to body. train you about the my ultimate God Constitution, the Word supplies. of the Living God. 
my if every you need. would sell out to this work, I declare if you would sell out to get that the, the resources this operating in your life that the if economy you would understand that there is power the United States of in America, Isaiah it said the anointing rests upon the word of the living God pull it me talks down about that the presence of the, the Holy economy Spirit will remove the, the burden of the yoke that is trying to hold you back will put and me to rob you and for get I you choose depressed. to believe in God it says in his presence is full of promises joy. it said if Above you would natural do, things in Jesus' name, a little bit Amen. of what this book says see, would be helped a whole lot. How will you walk upright? So, unless you know what's be right. Contending, the book is what's right. To get the this belt. is the guidebook. This is the covenant. For God's champions in this We're season. We're trying to train people about their I begin U.S. To understand. Constitution. We need to understand your authority will only work Wednesday and every Sunday to train you about of the, the Word of God, Constitution, have a revelation the of, of the God. integrity of God's Word, and that you're both obedient to that Word and willing to act on it, Isaiah 119 says, if you, be if you willing, would understand and obedient, that there's power in you shall and eat and the good of the land. Isaiah you shall eat the good of the land. Isaiah says, the anointing rests upon the Word of the living God. There's two ills there. It talks about that the presence of the Holy Spirit will remove the burden and destroy the yoke that's trying to hold you back. And try to rob you, All you folks and get that are you depressed. Grace people, it says in his presence is fullness of joy. It says if you would do, okay. if you had the mentality, a little God bit will just forgive me. Of grace what will this cover book that. says Let me tell you would what be grace will lot. cover. It will cover the doorway to get you to God through faith, through so, accepting Him. We're going to be contending. Otherwise, He wouldn't say you'd have to be to willing and obedient to have the promises for God's operate champions in, your in life. this season. Grace I begin to understand the ability to understand and your authority will only to work walk when you have faith both a revelation of the Holy God, God, have a revelation one that is of the well integrity meaning, of God's that is word, and that you're your, both your, obedient your, to that word and willing to act on it. Isaiah 119 is says, Christ if you be Nazareth. willing and obedient, your DNA you shall eat Jesus the alive the in you if you're born again well, Christian. There's two ifs there. And we must understand it's time that God is if calling you be us willing and obedient, to be willing to stand up, be counted as men and women of God folks like never before. Grace people because the world has been put in a position that the world has nowhere okay. to look but to God. If you've had the mentality, well, God will just forgive me. Grace will cover that. Let me Amen. tell you what grace will I cover. I mean, where else are they going to look? Cover I mean, the doorway they're to saying get you today, to God the G20 faith. is meeting today. The G20 is meeting and fixing to make a, he wouldn't say a, you'd some have decisions today that will cover the most of the economies of the world. Life. It could affect you. Mightily. Grace gives you the ability and the provision the EU to walk is going by down. faith. We knew that when we walk lived a holy in England life. and we traveled throughout one Europe. That is well they had already one that is turned 3% of their your, people your, said they were Christian. Your, we knew Which they had Jesus turned from Christ God. We saw the fall. Your DNA place, would show but Jesus now that's alive in you. If you're born night, again, the Gallup poll, the Episcopal and poll, and we must understand the it's time that God is calling us all stated to be willing that to stand today, up. Be there's only 18.7 like percent of Americans that attend the world church on Sunday, like you are today. That the world has nowhere to look but it's to God. It's at 85%. Of our teenagers, the minute they get out of high school and Amen. start to college, 85% I mean, of are they them gonna look? will stop I mean, attending they're church. They're saying today, the G20 is meeting and then at today. The bottom, the G20 isn't just a is just meeting and poll. They to make a, count a, some decisions today that will cover most of the economies of the world. It could so what do we do? Mightily. We need to allow an awakening first to take place inside of the us. The EU is going we down. We need to contend we for that faith. We lived in we England and we traveled for the world throughout of God. Europe. They we need to press in, like Paul said, for the hope, the hope that high that call on our life. Do you know what you're supposed to do? We knew they had turned from God. I would God. say 95% of the Christians in America don't know what they're supposed to do. But now the stats I read Wednesday well, night, the Gallup poll, get on your face first before, before God. If you the evangelical crowd to God, poll, he will hear your stated, cry, and he that will answer your today, prayer. He will there's begin only 18.7% of Americans that attend church on Sunday night. If you'll press in like Paul, he said, I want to know the hope, the high call. I want to know why Jesus called me and what he called me to do. our teenagers, the minute they get out of high school, he said, I'm going to press in until I hear God we'll stop for I want to do the perfect will of God. And then at the bottom it said this isn't just so a you've got a perfect word of they God. Actually the integrity of God's word. If you will ask Sunday. God, he will speak to you. So what do we do? 
Amen. We need to allow so you said faith. awakening first How are to we take place get this inside of us. First of all, at we least need to in this congregation, faith. we need to begin to unified for the will of God. through the Word of God. We need and to by press the in, like Paul said, we need to for the hope picking the high call on differences our life. up. And do you pick know what you're supposed to ground. do? I would say 95% of the Christians because in America don't know what they're supposed to do. In Psalms 133, well, I'm tell you. Get on your Where face first unity before the brother, God. If there's you need a man to repent, repent, it talks about he will on hear the day your of Pentecost when he will answer your prayer. He will begin to speak to you. He they will begin to reveal to you your call and one of your prayers. That like means they wouldn't he said, I want to know the hope of the high call. I want to know what Jesus called me and what he called me to do. They, they were, were Philippians looking for a voice of agreement until I hear God, for I want to do the perfect will of God. So you've got a perfect word of God, the well, integrity of God's word. If you will ask God, he will speak you to you. for a place of agreement? Amen? You so you say, place place how are we going to get this belt? First of all, at least in this congregation, we need to become unified God. through the word of God and by the spirit of God. We need to quit different picking differences up and pick our common places, ground. Sit down before Almighty God and instantly you be because like Eric it was, says that and all your in Psalms 133, to your you're where there's to unity to the brethren, God. there's a commanded blessing. See, it talks about at? on the day of God Pentecost where the church started, with our it talked about him, they were all in one place most, and one accord. That means they wasn't backbiting, Amen. wasn't jibbling around, so wasn't if picking believer problems, wasn't picking doesn't fight, walk in they love were and looking for a place of with agreement. With another person, then their heart will condemn them. It talks about that in 1 John 3 and 20. It talks about when their own heart condemns and it robs them of confidence toward God. Why do you think? You I mean, I've been in church 60. I'm only 37, but I've been in church 67 years. Are you looking for a place that you can it's know a long the will time, and it be around you guys. You're looking for a place that is different from anywhere. And most you've ever churches been. have you're schisms all the time. The minute it begins to go forward, somebody like gets bent out of shape. And Why? All your because of the their self life. Your total reliance. Because of their God. soulish life. See, where because are we at? A soulish spirit is trying to guide to a supernatural entity, which is called the body of Christ. The it won't work. To the it has to be led by the spirit of the living God. Amen. And if and Eric, so if, if he a can believer heal you of what was wrong with doesn't you, walk in he can love give you the confidence to stand up and look another person thing in the face their and heart not get will upset. condemn them. It talks about that in First John three and can twenty. He? It talks about. When their own I know heart people condemns and it robs them say, of well, confidence they won't come to church God. because some pastor treated them wrong. Well, what do you think? I mean, I've, I've been told in church these 60. Huh. Oh, I'm only 37, but I've been in church 67 knows. years. I said, well, wouldn't it be a shame it's a long that time, if you it, let an unbelieving, guys. mean, unforgiving pastor rob you and from knowing your own true and living God most churches have that's schisms that. all the time. The minute it begins to go forward, and we got somebody gets bent out of shape. The world Why? Because of their self life. Go to church because of, because of their soulish life. Mean because a, a soulish spirit is trying to guide a supernatural her, entity, which is called the body of Christ. Church. It won't work. It has to be led by the spirit of the living God. God and, if, and Eric, if he can heal you of what was wrong with you, he can give you the confidence to stand up and look anything in the face and not it get upset. It doesn't make sense that we would let something rob us. Can't he? I know people that human being that say, well, they won't come to church because some pastor you. treated them wrong. Well, and I told these people, <laughs> oh, <laughs> just so happy to be Think somebody Regina knows. We're talking about walking in integrity. I said, well, We're wouldn't it be a shame contending that if you let an unbelieving, mean, faith, unforgiving pastor rob you from knowing the, the church only true and living God is Contending that the Holy Spirit has be the free course in your life. In the and we got church, millions so of people around the world contending for a place that because of somebody that your pride in me soulish didn't have a revelation for a place in your heart doing, that you don't care about, about anything her. I talked to my grandson they're not is he here church. raise your hand and the only up person here that's robbed of that is the person that got offended walk faster that don't make faster. sense faster come on it doesn't make sense oh, if we you. would let something rob us for a minute I didn't think he was going to walk fast enough 
He stayed with me. A human uh, being that probably this didn't know what they was doing when they had time. And I was talking to him. I said, son, remember this. <laughs> Think about it. The Lord said this. We're talking about walking in integrity. We're talking if you about acknowledging me before men. For the race. I will acknowledge you before faith. the Father. Contending for victory in the church. Don't ever let the Holy Spirit some of your has friends. free course in your life. Ever in the local church, church so that it affects you stand up this building. Contending for a place that God will override your, heart, your pride in your soulish the God of the Bible, Contending for a place in your heart Isaac that Jacob you don't care about one. anything. I talked to my grandson because it is will he be the thing that will put you Raise your hand. Come up here in front. It's why you have a blessed life now. And you'll have Walk a faster faster. life then. Faster! And he looked Come at on! Me. Oh, thank you. you going to take me up front today? For a minute, I didn't think he was going to walk fast enough. He stayed with he me didn't say and, that, but this weekend but and had a blessed time, and I was talking to him. I said, Lord, son, remember don't this. You like training from your papa. Yeah. The Lord said this. You remember when I whipped you that last time. If you will acknowledge me before men, he's kicking dirt on his sister. before the father. There's going to school. Don't ever They've let put peer my pressure on my your friend. I whipped him real good. Ever dictate to you? And then I set him down. I said, "Son, if I didn't discipline you. Let the God of your heart." God said that a parent that won't the God of the children, Bible and the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob be number child. one. I'm just quoting the scripture because it will be the thing that will put you over in life. It's you don't why feel, you have a blessed life now, you. and you'll have a blessed life. Then. Do you feel love of God in me? And he looked at me you like Ben with Papa. He would like to take me up front today. If you didn't, no. He didn't say that. But I but called his mom and his grandma. There's remodeling houses love in the Texas. Lord, don't you, don't you I like said, I had to give Tyler a whipping this morning. Why did you do that? Right before they Remember went to school, you know it set the bad atmosphere. You know it was bad. Why did you do that? He's kicking dirt on his sister. I said, because I'm his pawpaw and I'm his trainer. They was going to school and they'd been putting my, res and my that, care. And I whipped he him He came in good. that evening. Run up and hugged and my And I sat him down. I said, son, if I said he had to one, you. one of the best days he'd ever had at school in God his life. God said that a parent that won't discipline Because he knew I loved him. Treating him worse than a bastard child. And he knew that my word was good scripture. and I walked with integrity. And that he could trust what I said and did. You don't feel And as a result... Unloved, do you? As far as I know, he's never missed a day at church. You don't? Do you feel loved? Until the golf cart God broke down. By the way, we need somebody like to weld the ball golf ball. cart back together. Some of you lie about it. Too it heavy on it. Yeah. If you didn't, no. We need it fixed. <laughs> That's why we call heavyweight. We call his mom and his grandma. They uh, remodeling listen. houses in Texas. As far as I know, he said came I had to give Tyler a whip this morning. The last Why did you do that? Right before they went to school, you know it set the bad atmosphere. You know it was bad. Why did you do up. that? And always look I said, because I'm his papa and I'm his trainer. God in his heart, and that someone was willing He came to train. in that evening. Now, his mother wants to take Run up and hug my neck. Credit for that. I, I said don't he had to have one of the best days he'd ever had at school in his life. What I'm trying to say here. Because he knew I loved him. We don't need to be deceived. And he knew that my Bible word was good and I walked with integrity. And that he could trust what and I said. And as a result, even if you don't understand it, and as a result, realm, as far as I know, he's never missed a day at church in the spirit realm. And it until the golf cart broke down. By the way, we need somebody to weld the golf cart back together. Some of y'all are too heavy on it. Yeah. We need it fixed. <clears throat> That's why we call heavyweight champions. Authority uh, will not work with the absence of faith. As far as I know, he's came and served this body. When Jesus said in Colossians, I have come, I've stripped Satan and of all of his right power, made a show of him openly in front of his own imps. And, and I've stripped him of all authority, and I've stripped him of the keys of hell, death, and the grave. And then all of a sudden, he elevated the church and said, Now, I'm giving you authority in the earth. Credit for but that, a, the key to having authority operate is having faith in what, what God said. You see, the Word of God is written in past tense, but it will affect your future. And, and so if you have you not faith, authority, well, you can stand up all day long. The enemy knows when your faith is tainted. 
What will purify your faith is a yielding to the Holy Spirit in line with the word of the living God and you will stand up strong and you'll be able to walk in authority and God's authority will come through you authority and no will one not can work come near your dwelling. No harm will come to you. Psalms 91 will jump out to you alive. When Jesus Things said will in begin to come alive. I come, you say, I well, Satan, the, he comes all to of steal, to kill, and destroy. destroy. Yeah, yeah, that's what of his Jesus own ends. put to naught. And I've stripped him of all authority the and I've stripped him of, of the keys of hell, death, and the grave. And then all of a sudden he saying. elevated the church and authority said, Now won't work I'm giving you without authority faith. in the earth. Without, that's why but the Iran key stands up having in the authority face of Obama is having faith and in what God says. him and laughs and makes you fun see, the because word of they know we won't do tense, nothing. But it will affect your future. And so, so if you have not up, faith, really authority, well, you can stand up all day long. Told the him. enemy knows and, when your uh, faith is tainted. What, what will purify your faith Saudi is a yielding to the Holy Spirit in line with the word of the living God, and you will stand up strong, and you'll be able to walk in authority, and God's authority will come through you, and no one can come near your dwelling. No harm will come to you. Psalms 91 will jump out to you alive. Things will begin to come alive. You say, well, the, he comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. destroy. Yeah, that's what that's Jesus that. put to naught when on your behalf or to the man or woman of faith. See, they got faith in the God you of Abraham, understand what I'm saying Jacob. Here. We're praying Authority they won't work Jesus without faith. Messiah, but without, that's faith. why Iran stands in their up in the face rights. of and you know Obama what? God's still performing and the covenant on their behalf and laughs. And makes fun and because we will stand they know up we in the name of Almighty nothing. God, and we will defend so our nation. That up? Well, it just really galled me that the I we need to pray that the church and, uh, would stand up in the name of Almighty God and let God be God again in individual more. lives and come together and corporately, corporately said, we so we can affect that. the course of this nation. That. I'm praying that Israel will. But if we don't have faith in God, it'll never hurt. Without God faith, does. confidence, an individual may I mean, try to perform. I listen to their president. A certain amount of revelation they he claim to have, but their efforts will bear no fruit. By setting back. When in the book of Ephesians, he said, God speaking, see, I want my people to bear much God fruit that I might get Jacob. much We're glory. Understand Jesus he wants Messiah, a woman that got doesn't know the Lord going in for surgery in right. supernaturally you know to get God's healed, and she will turn on to God. Behalf. She wants a young woman and say, we will that stand already up in the name of Almighty God, God and, and we will help Titus to be healed to encourage her in our our walk with God. You see... God is a God we need to pray of integrity. That the church would stand up in the name of Almighty God and let God be God if again he says in individual in lives 91, and come together corporately. I never will so forget. So we can I was affect the course of this nation. Belting out the word of the living God when my son got sick and he died of but heart disease. But if we disease, don't have faith in God, it'll never hurt. Room, without faith, I was confidence reading in Psalms 91 as fast as I could. I was trying to muster faith. A certain amount I of revelation they claim to have, but they're heirs old. I wanted him bear the power no of God fruit. to operate, but something happened. He died. He went home, but he did he not said, stop God's zeal to I preach my faith to bear much in the Son of the Living God because that is our only hope. He wants a woman that you see, doesn't know the Lord going in it's for surgery. That we haven't had supernatural injuries to get healed, and she will it's turn just to that God. we have the tenacity she to wants keep a young going woman because God that already had been heart. diagnosed with A, you B, and C, me? hepatitis to be healed to encourage so, her in her walk with God. Faith you kills see, authority. God is a God of you integrity. Have faith. I mean, if He says in Psalms 91. I never will forget. I was a young preacher belting out the word of the living the God when my son got sick and he died of heart disease. And I was in the waiting room and I was reading Psalms 91 as Lord fast God as I could. I was trying to muster faith. I Let wanted him to live. He was 15 you. years old. I Let wanted the him the living the God, power God to operate, but something happened. He Let died. He went back home, to a place but he did he wants not you stop to be my zeal the to preach is. faith he in the Son of the living God because can, but that is our only hope. A hamstring on him. You don't see, hobble him. It's and not that we haven't had house. injuries along the pathway. It's just that we Run have the tenacity all. to keep going because God put it in our heart. You hobble a cow, they you can't understand go me. for it. And they sure can't kick you. Now listen. 
If so, we hobble God through our disobedience, faith fuels authority. Jesus. you got to have if faith. we will open up to God. I mean, I've got a whole bunch of scripture to read here. It said for the, i got ten minutes. I'm going to pray for all part-time believers. Jesus is calling the church. We've been hearing this across the airwaves Lord, for people that are open all over the, Let the, uh, the, the planet. We're, we're getting calls from Let England, the the living India, God uh, you. Ireland, all different places that Let we don't bring prophets. you back they're to saying a place God that is he speaking wants to the, the church because that's to come the back, is. repent. Let the he Holy Spirit desires to bless you beyond the lives of men and women. Don't Let it be real. Let it be a hamstring on him. He wants an awakening to take place in this season. I think according to the stats, it said there would be a, a great falling away. I think the great falling away in America is already cow. They can't go far, and they sure can't kick you. Now listen, if we hobble God, we had 84% of our teenagers in 1963 either. that went to church and believed in Jesus. But if we, we got 4% now, what happened? Bunch of if you take the Holy Spirit out of the church, it said for the, then you will only have a pharisaical minutes. gospel. You will have one that Jesus death is calling the church. So we've what been we hearing this across the airwaves of the two for people that are open all Smith over the Wigglesworth uh, the, for the this planet. season. We're, we're he getting wants calls to the word of the England, Holy Spirit together India, in your heart uh, Ireland, and in your all lives different places so that, that God we don't come to life in the church. Saying God and when is people walk to the in, church, these people to come right back, here, repent, uh, when, and let the Holy Spirit go into a hospital and they go somewhere and pray to somebody. Let it be real. Let it be alive. He wants an awakening to take place in this season. I think God's power the power heals that individual. They know great God's alive. falling away. I think the great falling away. And if you attend a church and don't believe in healing, then how is he going to hang out his supernatural We had 84% uh, of our teenagers in 1963 that, are lost that went to, to church and believed in Jesus. Through supernatural impact of God. God. What happened? If you take the Holy Spirit out Jesus of church, Jesus is calling the church. He's calling you. Then you will only have a pharisaical gospel. And you know what? He's calling you to arise you out and allow him to bring you to a different life. place in your life. So what we have to do is have the marrying of the two according to that prophecy by Smith Wigglesworth. It's a call to go to a place he where you've never gone the before. Word and the Holy Spirit you can hear the call when you get in your lives in your so private God time. Comes alive in the I'm not church. talking about and a physical place. In, or I'm talking about right here, a mental uh, and spiritual Evan place that you never went to a hospital or they go somewhere to go. pray for somebody. I don't care if they do have but a 17 when you millimeter do, here and, 18, and you willfully by faith surrender to God in those areas, God will begin to hear his individual. They know will begin to understand and gain knowledge of the kingdom of God. And if you God, attend a church it is and a don't call believe in go, healing, then can you hear the hang out to a supernatural Surely uh, your heart is to not attract men and women that are lost to him through supernatural impact of God? That you can pass off the call of God. Jesus is calling the church. He's calling the world you. condition is so horrible. And you know what? It's so He's bad. calling you to rise up and allow him to bring you to a People different place are willing to listen life. if you'd be willing to pray and be willing to give a message of deliverance and salvation and healing. And it's hope. a call to go to a place where you've never gone Have before. Have our hearts in America got so You can hear so the call when you get there in your private time. That we're just too time. important to I'm lay not down about a thing. physical place. I'm and talking about so a mental and spiritual place that you've never pick up the will of God and go forward. Where are we at today? I want to but ask when you, you do, and you willfully by faith surrender to God in those areas. Do you hear you the will call begin of God to hear His saying, his voice. I have died to understand you. I put my word in the kingdom you. of God. I put my it spirit is a call in to you. Go. I want you to Can rise you up and take today. my name and do mighty exploits in the earth your and let people see hard. there's still a living God. I'm not a dead God like all those others they talk about. I bring life and peace and freedom everywhere I go. That you can pass off the call of God. You because see, all you women, I can't world help think. I look at so horrible. the congregation, and I see it's all so you bad. women, and you have the freedom to go shopping. You People have the are willing to, to listen if you'd be willing to pray and be willing to give a message of deliverance and salvation. Saudi Arabia, and healing women and can't drive cars. Have our hearts in America got, got so callous? People want to condemn. We're just too the important American church to lay down the, some things. And the Muslims want to condemn the weight that would so easily that beset us. And Jehovah's and the pick same up the God, will of God. not and go forward. Where are we at? Allah today? kills everybody that doesn't you. accept. 
Yes, Where are you at as an individual? Do you hear the call Jesus of God delivers saying, everyone that I have wants died for and you. the blessing of I the put just my word in you. Will still I fall put upon my them. spirit in you. I want you to rise up and take my name and do my so exploits what are we in the earth and let people see there's still a we're living God. Knowledge. We're I'm not a dead call. God like all those he wants others you they talk about. To rise I up bring spiritually life and peace and freedom everywhere I go. He wants you to be willing. You see, all out of women, I can't help but think. I look out across the cobble. congregation and I see all you women. Your tradition that has freedom to brought go you shopping. to a certain you place that was good at one time, but now it became a rut and a hindrance. Saudi Arabia women can't drive cars. He wants you to be cars. willing to listen to God Almighty through the Who's Word of God, God and the Holy Spirit. To People want to fire inside of you the that American you have church and that you and the, can't keep and the Muslims with God to convince and the American church that Allah and Jehovah is the same God. They're not. He Allah wants kills you to open everybody up and that say, doesn't wait a accept. It doesn't make Islam any difference what they did in 1990 or Jesus 1980 delivers or 2000 everyone that wants and the blessing of the just and the unjust. It makes a difference that I make a choice them. today to hear the call and go with God Almighty all the so way. So what are we to do? We're to gain knowledge. You We're see, to hear the call. The call's going he forth. He wants you to rise up to be spiritually awake. first. And to hear the Holy Spirit of the He wants God. you to be willing to get out then of your traditional... You to let God develop hobbles. through the Word of God your character. Your tradition that has brought you to the a church certain place has, that was good at had one a big time, but now it, it became a rut and, and a hindrance. Character assassination He wants you to be willing to listen to God Almighty through the Word of done. God and the Holy Spirit to ignite a I fire what, inside of you that you so have excited. passion that you can't when keep I saw running Kenneth with Coulter's God magazine and people this think week. at first you're a little funny. I don't agree with everything that Brother Phil Driscoll does, but he is He a wants good you to open up and say, wait a minute. And if y'all don't it know, doesn't make quite any difference the world, what they did in 1990 or 1980 or 2000 or 2010 or 2011. RS it makes a difference a that I make ago. a choice today to hear the call and, over, and go with God Almighty all the way. And the guy gave him. The airplane was you worth see, 2.2 .2 million, the and the guy, going forward, as he wants you spiritually to, to be awake in some kind of shenanigans, and to hear the Holy Spirit of the Living God. I don't know all the details. Then he wants you to let God develop through but the I've Word of God your character. To Canada we was in Georgia with him a good bit. The church has has had a big and fall just in it, day, and they took the plane, sold it for 800,000. Assassination. They sent Phil to 13 months doing in things they should never have done. Said that he had. Uh, I tell you what, I was something wrong so the IRS. excited when I saw Kenneth And in the last magazine few weeks, he told week. me, he said, I wasn't guilty. But I don't I agree with everything that Brother Phil Driscoll does, but they he is a good that. friend of mine. And if y'all don't but know it, he's the number one trumpet Phil player in the guilty. world at one time. He played, he's been playing for Federal Jesus judge. for the last 30 years. Totally exonerated. The IRS him. got after him a few years ago. And they told the IRS what you did. And it was over, one of the things was over an airplane a guy gave him to come after him. And the it airplane was worth 2.2 million, the million and the guy to try evidently to that gave it to him had been involved and in I some kind of ad said, Lynn shenanigans. And him was writing it. I mean, I don't know all the details. He said, yeah, the enemy came in to steal everything. But I've we traveled with Phil. We've gone to Canada. We was in Georgia with him a good bit. Pay it 10 times over. And just the other day, and they took the plane. Now he flies a new Sold it for 800,000. Sovereign jet. They sent Phil you to say, 13 months in federal prison. And said that he had no, uh, done something wrong on the IRS. Think that it didn't and in the Jesus last few weeks, he told me, he said, I wasn't guilty. To have you but I've worked problem. with prisoners all over. They all say that. But I felt that Phil wasn't guilty. It, it's Federal just, judge totally exonerated him. Not right. And they told the but IRS Abraham's what you did was wrong. And you had no about right the church of the living to come God after God him God in. and cost him everything he had in the natural. And not only the most spiritual connection. And I noticed not the ad said, Lynn Driscoll in him was writing it, I mean, but also giving riches financially. He said, yeah, the enemy he came in to steal everything we had in the natural, but he's had to repay it ten times over. If you've been listening to false doctrine, now he flies a new sovereign jet. You say, are you that God didn't a lot want of things you on financial, material things? No, but then you need to stop and repent and ask God to 
think that open it your eyes didn't cost Jesus any more to, to bless what the you covenant really said as it did to have you live in poverty. Because in this season, the greatest awakening you're going to see is going to take place. And to be it's honest just, with you, if you if you're right. blessed and you only give ten percent tithes and ten percent offerings, you still got eighty percent talking about the church of the living to make God. Make it through life. Grafted in. Or not only the but if you spiritual give none, connected, not only the most mentally adjusted, money, but also the richest and everything you do to show that will seem like you put your money in bags with holes in it. And nothing will work in the end. If you've been listening to false doctrine, I feel that boldness that God out, didn't I want you blessed financially, then you need to stop and repent and ask God to you know, open your eyes to what born in Southern Ireland really brought up in England. Because in this Catholic season, parents. the greatest awakening you're going to see My is going to take went place to seven days a week. And to be honest with years you, old, he said in a little old service in Florida and heard, if, you, if you're blessed and you only give 10% tithes and 10% offerings, you still got 80%. He had a tremendous encounter make it through life. Day, and he said, you've got to take this back home. But if you give none, well, a curse put something will be in my your money. And in and everything my you wife do, put something in my daughter will seem like you put your money in bags They would give away everything. It. And nothing will work. They believe in, in giving. If I ever got tight with giving, my wife would say, Honey, I feel that boldness coming out of is because of her. our giving. Because of the seed. You know, with my wife, she was born in Southern Ireland. You know, Brother Bud said there's a rumor around the mountain that strong cats don't help parents. Poor. My father in law went to Mass seven help days as well. I don't give 72 years old, he's chronic said low alcoholics and drug addicts. addicts. The book of Ephesians. Y'all know my background. I worked in the biggest the drug rehab center in Florida, car. We had 500. We had a tremendous time. encounter with God that day, and he said, you got to take I will this give back to you. home. And we make people's car payments, house payments, everything else. Well, I just don't believe He put something in my that. wife. And then my wife put something in my daughter. They would give away everything. They believe in giving. If I ever got tight with giving, my wife would say, Honey, the reason we're, where we're at is because of our giving. Because of the seed. Place that Israel could find a I know Brother Bud said there's a rumor around the mountain that on we don't help the poor. They made their own gods. The poor don't help themselves. They make look like men. I don't and 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 give to chronic alcoholics and drug addicts. The very place, if you don't really know my background, I've worked in the victory. biggest drug rehab center in the world. We had 500 people at the time. What I rise. will give to you, and we make people's car You'll payments, guilty. house payments, everything else, I just don't believe in telling everybody. We need to get rid of that old mentality. You need to have the mentality, I'm going to learn how to walk by faith. I'm going to learn how to rise up strong. Uh, and sure, there's no shame if you've got to have a bridge. You've got to be helped some. That's fine. It's just don't make a way of life out of it. What I'm saying is that there's a way that's right. Not they just right in the eyes of man, but right in the eyes of God. God. We have fooled around with so Make much religion like in the birth. church, it's and horrible. The very say, well, place, if you really want to have I mean, I've had to take major adjustments in how I see things. I've had to get on my face and repent before God. I've, I've had to say, Lord, help me. I, I don't want to, to take discredit you in any way. We need to get How many in this building mentality. call themselves believers or Christians? You need to have the mentality, I'm going to learn how to walk by faith. I'm going to learn how to rise Are you born strong. again? Have you accepted Jesus? 
Uh, and sure, there's no shame if you got to have well, a bridge. You've got to be right. right. So that's fine. And it's right. just you've got a covenant right, right to bring God glory. You've got a covenant right to rise up in victory. You've got what a covenant right there's a way to probably do right. more than you're doing. Not just right in the eyes of man, but right in the Don't eyes of God. God. We have fooled your around soul with life. so much religion in Rob the church. It's hard of your spiritual success. You say, well, I mean, I've had to take major adjustments in how I see I'm talking about. I've had to get on my face and repent before God. Your soul I've, life. I've had your to say, Lord, will you help me? I, I don't think want get to it under the blood of the Lamb. Get it in any way. with the word of the living God. Put your priorities How many right. in this Quit building call like themselves believers or Christians? You say, well, why do you, why do you, I want to challenge you. Are you born again? Have you accepted I want to get Jesus? you upset enough that you might do something with your life. Well, then you have a that covenant trust right God to excel in what the you've life. Ever had. You've got a covenant that right you would bring to come God alive you got to something covenant coming. right to rise up I'm telling victory. you, you've got a covenant right to probably you let anybody come to church doing. here. Unless they in open sin, and then I don't bring them before the congregation and expose them. Your soul life rob you of your spiritual oh. success. Pretty good till that. Nobody does that anymore. That's why I have a bad reputation. Say, so what's this guy talking about? I'm talking about if I get somebody running your my soul life, your emotion, drug and alcohol well, abuse, and they seduce a young girl, and he's a leader. I'm bringing the them out. Get it renewed with the word of the living God. Put your priorities right. I ain't going to stand like for that. Idiot. I don't think it's biblically correct. I give them an opportunity to repent. If they won't repent, then they got to go before the fifth. You say, well, why do you, why do you, I want to challenge you. I mean, I want to get you upset enough that you might do something with your life. At? It's because that you'll trust we'll God beyond it. what you ever have. If we that could you be come alive to something sold I mean, out, I'm telling you. Not be mean, not be cruel. We let anybody come to church way, here. Bring an anointing of God of correction and understanding. And, sin, and, and I bring, them bring the, the Spirit of God, the Word them. of God, and say, look, you're the church. You've got to make a change. You, you've got, you can't be like good friends of Pretty mine that lay. cannot face any kind Nobody of does conflict. That's why I have a bad reputation of here. People that have social circles and they got I people in open sin in will not face the open sin abuse, because they don't the want conflict. Bringing them out. Uh, let me tell you something. If they die in their sin, that. then that sin comes on your head according to Jeremiah and, and you will carry it. Then they got to go before the family. only way you release it is you lovingly correct I mean, and bring a word is, of understanding is where we're at it's because we allow it you say i don't like this if I'm we could be i didn't like sold it either out not be mean not be cruel i, mean, I was mean a lot of my life i, I don't want to be mean anymore i want us to serve god but if the church doesn't wake up the spirit not god, only the do we lose the church say, Look, we lose the united states of america you gotta make a change you you've got you can't be like good friends Muslims of mine kill themselves that every day for their face God. any kind of conflict they're committed people well, that have social circles and they I got people in open sin will not the face the open sin because they don't want conflict could we just let me get tell so you something out to introduce people if to they a die God in their sin, then that sin comes on your head, according to Jeremiah, and you will carry. Give them a word that'll work and nurture. Only way you release down, it is you back lovingly up, correct and bring a word God, of beside understanding. Beside our Savior says, "Beside the Father God, at the right hand." You say, "I don't like this." I'm leaving us as men and women of God. I didn't like but it. Either. I just want us to start thinking. Wait a minute. We have an opportunity. I mean, I was mean a lot of my life. Crisis. I don't want to be mean anymore. I want this us to serve God. But if the live. church doesn't wake we up, a world not crisis. only do we lose the church, we lose the United States of America. falling down. They don't know how they're going to get up. And you Muslims kill themselves every day for their God. World crisis is on. It ain't just a U.S. This is a world crisis. Well, the, the I told us and the older ones don't. They convince the so young So what are we going to do about it? You see... You've got God in you. You said, could we believer. just get so sold out? Okay, let me just challenge you with one thing in closing. Save woman. 
heal them and the Great Commission, bring them hope and give them a word that'll work and nurture them. And if they fall down, our God will pick them back up and dust them off. I don't want any hands raised, but beside our Savior says the Great Commission the talks God, about at the right hand thing ever interceding for Jesus us said, go as men and women of God. Brother. But I just he want said, us to start thinking. Them go right lay hands on the sick. We have an opportunity. And he said, to preach a, a gospel of deliverance and salvation. Best time we can And then live. when you get them, we got a the world crisis. People are falling Let down. Let me ask you this. They don't know how they're going to get up. up. And you've got the answer. Is this the 22nd of October? World crisis is on. It ain't just a U.S. This is a world crisis. I don't want anybody to raise their hand, but just think about it. So how many what are we going to do about it? You see, have you cast demons out of you? You've got God in you. You said you was a believer. You said, oh my God. Okay, let me that, just challenge you with one thing in closure, if you would. The Great Commission. The first thing out of Jesus' mouth, he told the church, and let me, I'm making a point here. I don't want here. any hands raised, but where are we going as a church? The Great Commission talks about casting out demons. The first thing in the Great Jesus Commission said, was to cast out demons. demons. He said, 95 or 99% of the churches and pastors I know run when said, they talk preach about a demons. gospel of deliverance and salvation. Because we got so unaccustomed to casting them out, them. the church fills up with demon-affected people. Let me ask you this. Well, this if is, we uh, disobey, is this the what do we get? of October? And 23rd. then, let me ask you this. I don't want anybody to raise their hand, but one or two recently has laid hands on How some many people, at least prayed for them, and they got healed. Have you cast demons? How many out of people this year? in 2011 did you bring oh God, back through the power that. well, that's invested in the name of Jesus from the brink of death or some illness that you run up to and say, "I got your answer." The first I got the thing answer, here, boy. I'm going to help. In the name of Jesus, let me. I'm making a point here. Where have we gone as a church? I'm just asking you the question. The first thing in the Great Commission was to cast out demon demons. Judgment. Ninety-five or ninety-nine percent of the churches and pastors the I know run when you for talk all about demons. The Great White Throne Judgment. Because we got all so unaccustomed the to the casting them out, the church fills up the with demon-affected people. I hope there's no one in here that's still playing outside well, if the we circle. Disobey. What do we okay, get? Okay, so. Think about that. And I, then, when you get home, I want you to do a let little. Let me ask you this. Start keeping your diary. I know one or two recently Chronicles has laid stuff. hands on some people or at least prayed for them and they so got You don't have to look far in the white How many people in 2011 did you bring you back nothing. through the power that's I mean, invested plenty in the name of Jesus from the brink of death or some illness out of up here. that you run up to and say, I got and then there's a lot of sickness. I got the answer here, boy. So I'm if gonna, you've been called in the and name of Jesus to lay hands on the sick, don't you think he meant that? Be healed. Does it, did he mean I'm that just or asked you just the question? Rattling because off. Because you're going to be asked this question in the Bema Judgment. Huh? Okay. So you're going to get people healed the rest of this year. The Bema Judgment is for all See, believers. See, a lot of times, sickness the great is brought on by a spirit of infirmity, and that's why he wants you to take care of the demonic problem first. I hope you'll be in the Bema Judgment. Lay hands on the sick. Then I hope preach a one gospel in here that's still playing of deliverance, the circle. freedom. It's okay, so move men and women think from about the kingdom of darkness home, to the kingdom of light. Start keeping your diary, and then speak it with a boldness. Chronicle stuff. I got your answer. Look around for you. Don't have to yeah. look far in the white mountains to get somebody. You just thank God I come out. your way today. <laughs> in the name Dude, of Jesus, get out of her. I mean, there's plenty candidates to what you say? Cast demons out left, of up here. Leg was hurt. In the name of and Jesus then there's Jesus. a lot of sickness. Did you know Jesus died? So if you've been called and given a great commission to lay hands on the sick, don't you, you think he meant heart, that? That he's the Son of God. Didn't Does it, did he I mean that, that or is he just rattling off? That you could ever go in the presence of Almighty hmm? God. Okay. Just say so it. you're going to get people healed the rest Jesus. of this year. I believe you're the Son of God. See, a lot of times sickness is me. brought on by a spirit of infirmity, and that's why he wants you to take care of the demonic problem first. Lay hands on the sick. Then preach a gospel of deliverance, freedom. Move men and women from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. And you know what? I hardly ever get And then speak it with a boldness. I got your answer. Yeah. 
You can just thank God I come your way today. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, get out of her. You won't find the help What'd you, you say? Need. Your left leg was hurt. Else In the name of Jesus, God. heal her. Did you know Jesus died for your sins? He rose again on the third day. I need every one of you. If you believe this in your heart, that he's the son of God. I need every one of you. I can take you to the greatest place, opening up to God's heart, teach me the presence of Almighty God. Just say that. I need every one of you listening for the call. I believe you're the son of God. Because you'll hear You died for me. Let's run through this last season. And on the third day, you rose again. Come into my heart. Let's do what it takes. Be my Savior. Get the move of God operating in our lives so we can operate in the church because you are the church. I don't back up anywhere I'm at. Anybody with me knows that. And you know what? We need to continue. I hardly ever get a rejection. There's a strong anointing right here, right now. Why? Father God, in the name of Jesus, you won't find the help you need. Jesus anywhere else other than God. He said, lay hands on those that need healing. I lay my hands on this brother. And he's I need every Jesus one of you on the team. Claire, the anointing of God. I need every one of you opening up to God and say, Lord, teach me, train me. You see, I need every one of you listening for the call. Sometimes I just like to carry around a little bit. Let's run through I'm this last season. I'm her. waiting for the Holy Spirit to speak to somebody. Let's do what it takes to get the move of God operating in our lives so it can operate in the church because you are the church. We we'll begin, hold on a minute. We need to I contend for the faith. We've got to be a society that we need to contend so much we can't sit in the presence of God. There's a strong anointing right here right now for healing. Too busy, too much. Father too God, too in the name of Jesus, is a mentality of the world. Speak for total healing. Jesus. Kingdom mentality is just getting started. He said, lay hands on those. Just come into a new place. Lay my hands on his brother. And he God just opened Jesus a new opportunity. Declare the anointing of God. Bring healing. With me and God, all things are possible. You see, Mark 9, 23 said, to the man who can believe Sometimes all things. Like the, Carry around a little bit, y'all think I'm just. Can we just take that as Holy Spirit reality? Somebody? Can we take it as being truth? Can we believe God is a God of integrity? We begin. Hold on a minute. I, know I believe we can. We've got to be a society. I believe the Holy Spirit is speaking so to you right now. Sit in the presence of God. I believe that He's waking us up. That our too busy, too mindset much. is changing. Too little, too late. I believe that he is the, the washing mentality. of the water of the word brings life to us in sanctification. Kingdom mentality is we're just getting started. I believe that. We're just coming to a new I believe place. you're a chosen generation. Just open a new opportunity. He says a royal priesthood, one that's come and been With set aside God. for the work of the kingdom. All things are possible. Mark 9, 23 said, long. to the man who can believe it change all things, I got to have you believe possible. Can we just take that as reality, you see? Can we take it as being truth? I have a lot of fun at church. Can we believe God is a God of integrity? For this season, from now till the end of December, we're in a, I believe we can, time of really I believe the Holy Spirit God, is speaking to you right now. Letting his word make a difference. I believe that he's waking us up. Actually surrendering. Minds his will. Is changing. Because 2012 is going to be the year. washing of the water of the word that we better be life to us in sanctification. And this is what the Lord showed me. I believe that. Remember when I gave you that I prophecy you God told to Josh generation. And he says, Israel, Israel, the ones that hadn't died and come to the Jordan River and been set aside for the work of the kingdom. And the Holy Spirit spoke, or God spoke to Joshua. I can believe that all day long, and it won't change anything. He said, I Joshua, have you believe it. Get your officers together. Send them out you to see? all the tribes. And inform them. I the have a lot of fun at church to sanctify themselves for three days. For this season, from now till the end of the Because December, on the third day, 
time I'm of really do something that you've never seen God, before. Letting his word make a difference. And so God spoke to Actually us in October, November, well. and December in the eyes of God was our three days to get sanctified and purified through the washing of the water of the word. And this is what the Lord showed me. And what they did, they put the Ark of the Covenant, God which symbolizes and which was the presence of God. And Israel, the ones that hadn't died, had come to the Jordan and he, River. They put the Ark of the Covenant on the pre-shoulders. And the Holy Spirit spoke. They led God the people, not the army. I, I hate to tell Joshua, you this, but our safety is not in our officers army. together. Send them out to all and the tribes. they walked toward the flood tide and in flooding Jordan River to sanctify themselves for three days. And it was at the because season the that it was day, out of its banks. I'm going to do something that you've never seen before. And they had to begin to walk and they felt and the so God swift spoke current to us in October, lap November, around the ankles of the priest carrying the eyes the of, God of God was our three days to get sanctified and purified through the you know, back in the, the Red water Sea, water. all Moses had to do is hold his staff up over the water. And what and they did, they put the Ark of the Covenant, which symbolizes and years which ago. was the presence of God in this move. And he, they put the you Ark of the Covenant the on the pre-shoulders. The thing that's affecting America. And you they led the, the people, not the army. Opposition come against you. I, I hate to tell you and this, you but say, our safety is not in God, our army. Because of his presence, I will continue and to walk And they walk the water the flood tide, flooding Jordan River. God is a progressive God. And it was at the, the season the church, that it was us, out of its me. banks is we get to so so far with God and we think that's it and we stop. And they had to begin to walk and they God felt said, Wake the up. swift current get begins me. to I lap around the ankles of the priest carrying the presence of God. Because there's going to be you know, another back at the Red Sea, rushing torrent that acts all like Moses had to do is hold his staff up over the water. But our point. way out will be the anointing of the living God that takes that's us 40 forward. years ago. That won't happen in you this can't move, wait to learn how to drive. You walk into the great turn when you get of the, the first car. You got to have somebody you teach you how to the drive. Waves of opposition come against you. So in this time, you've and already you come to a certain place. My God, Don't take this word because of His presence. Lightly. I will continue to walk, and the water congeal. Because in 2012, you mark my God is word. God God. said. There's going to be the greatest blessing and the some of the greatest tragedy. The church, ever us, me, so far, is we get to so your preparation so far with God, and, and we think trust in God will make the difference. God said, "Wake up, get before me. I will prepare you." What for amazes me that they all got to the other side of the Jordan River. They even built a monument because in the there's going to be river. another big rushing torrent that acts and like they didn't go anyways, us. and they come to the walls of Jericho. But our way out be the anointing of the living God that takes us forward. That won't happen. You can't wait to learn how to drive. I don't intend when you get the first car, you got to have somebody for us teach you how to drive. Amen. To operate below the level of the So in God this time you've already right. come to a certain place. Don't take this and I'll word be honest with you. Light. Some of you part-timers, because in 2012, you you for my word, God said, there's going to be the greatest blessing and some of the greatest because tragedy that's ever happened. You so mark far. my word, you, you will not your be prepared. Your preparation come and your trust in God year. will make the difference. We're facing the biggest election we've ever faced in our life. People say, what well, Obama was put in there by God. got no, to the Obama other side of the Jordan you. River. They even no, built a monument in the middle of the river. Don't anybody throw any rocks at us. And they didn't go anyways. Obama and they was come in there because walls of the Jericho. condition of the church. Don't think you can just sit on the other side of the Jordan and just put I don't intend. No, we're going over. For us as a church, and we're going to the other side to operate this below the level situation. God has called us to operate. And we will see 2012 and I'll be, honest be the big, biggest and greatest blessing you've ever experienced if you've Some of you part-timers, 
need to sign up for a full time position. But if you don't, because if you continue Mark to live your words, life you, like you, you will not somebody. be prepared come next year. You're We're facing the biggest words. election we've ever faced in our life. People say, well, Obama was put in there by God. We well, need Obama was put in there by you. Finish on. No, no, not you individually, but <laughs> don't anybody throw any the rocks at us. The Holy Spirit so strong. Obama was in there because year. of the condition of the church. The people that come to this church has been put as the under shepherd. Don't think you can just my charge. A lot of people sit on the other side of the jar and just play I'd around. And, no, we're going That's over. Great responsibility. And we're going to the other side. If I don't challenge you of this to walk current to a new situation, level with God, then God will challenge me. And we will see 2012 be the big, biggest some of and you greatest need to blessing you've ever some of your old religious you stuff. So far. But if you don't, said, what do you mean? Well, if you continue you to live your life to yourself like and you cry for three or four you. days before the Lord. You go, Lord, I'm, I shouldn't have blamed you for all this. I, I, I'm sorry. It was my fault. I want you to forgive me. We need I want something you to wake me up. I want to run with you. I, I just want to surrender. I have been dear. under the gun by the Holy Spirit so strong for nearly a year. That's what I've got to do. The people that come to this church has been put as the under the impossible odds in here in this charge. A lot of people don't look at that that way. I take it. It would probably be the best it's place great ever be responsibility in. when you recognize it with God. And if I don't challenge you to walk to a new level with God, then God will challenge me. But it won't just happen. And some of you need to just drop strong some of your old religion stuff on your part that you're going to serve what do you God mean? to the well, most. Maybe you need to How does it feel to be yourself healed? And cry for three or four days before the Lord. Hmm? Feel good to be healed? Lord, I'm, I shouldn't have blamed Everybody you. raise their hand. I, re I released healing on you. I'm sorry. It was my Healing fault. is good. I want you to forgive me. The I healing power of God is good. I'm not you. getting I, on you guys. I'm saying you're the army of God. God. Rise up to the occasion. You're going to have the greatest success you've ever had if you do what you're supposed what to do. do. And you know what to do, most of you. But let's get with God. Let's get it fine-tuned. Let's let the Holy Spirit now. speak to us. For it's good and alive and real but every time. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, uh, Bud, Ruth, uh, Clark, Mary, y'all come up here at the front a minute. Okay, we had nine people baptized in the Holy Spirit last Sunday. Has anybody missed out on that? We're going to send you into the prayer room. They're going to give you instruction and pray over you. Is there anybody here that says, Pastor, I want the baptism the second the second blessing talked about in Acts 17, talked about on the death of Pentecost. Feel to be healed? Uh, is there anyone in this building that says, I want to be baptized in the Holy Ghost? Everybody raise Just your hand. Like I, re I released healing on you. Week. Healing is bride, good. That's great, isn't it? The healing power of God is good. I'm not getting on you guys. I'm is saying you're the army of God. Right Rise here, up right to the occasion. Here. You're going to have the greatest right success you've, you've ever had. Prayer room. If you do anybody what you're supposed to do, and Holy you know Ghost. what to do, day, anybody else. But let's get with God. Be let's get it fine-tuned. Let's let the Holy Spirit speak to us. For it's good and right on up here this. They will give you instruction, brother. Hallelujah. Well, Bud, Ruth, Clark, Mary, you come up they're going to take you to the prayer room. Come on. Okay, we had nine here, people David. baptized in the Holy don't, Spirit don't last Sunday. Has anybody missed out on that? Long. We're going to send you into the uh, prayer room. No, They're going to teasing. give you instruction. Well, we don't want her getting way out ahead. Anybody here that says, Pastor, I want the baptism. The second, the second blessing Praise talked about God. in Acts 17, no, talked about on the day of Pentecost. Is there anyone in this building that says, I want to be baptized in the Holy Ghost? Just like Eric worth and Regina last week. Regina. That was a ride, wasn't it? That's great, isn't it? It was worth it. Isn't it wonderful how it's an awakening? Anybody Is else? there anybody in here? Let me see your hand. Yes, right, over here, right over here, right over here. Y'all just come right on up. They're going to take you into the prayer room. Anybody we else want to be baptized in the Holy Ghost? Ghost? We had those today. We anybody else? We had 24 people You want to be baptized in the Holy Ghost? Some of them I just baptized, sitting Praise in the... God. Come right on up here at this. They will give you instruction, you brother. Man, I love you. Don't be afraid of that. There's a prayer God room. God is so good. Go right here, and they're going to take you in the prayer room. Come on. 
Come on up here, David. 20 says, don't, don't set back women building up your front of our lives too long. Praying. Uh, no, I'm Spirit. just teasing. Well, we don't want her getting way out in the head. Father God, let the power and the presence of God Y'all just got married, and I married You're you. You're asking that you praise God in that good to know the Spirit the people are reaching God. out to areas they've never walked in. Let it be so in. strong and so real. They'll never turn back. New places they've they never seen. You. Revelation will and come And it's worth it, isn't it, Eric? In Jesus' name. Regina. Amen. Okay, y'all can go ahead and go with, with the me. elders to the uh, prayer room. Anybody else? Praise God. Yes, honey, come on up here at the front. Bring your stuff someone left you. behind to serve communion. We had, okay. when Glenda came and we had those revivals, we had 24 people baptized in the Holy Ghost. Some of them we'll just baptized sitting now, in the, you guys would come in on the pew. Forward. Just begin to speak in other yeah. tongues and be flooded with the power and prayer. Don't be afraid of that. There's a prayer line. Jude, praise the Lord. There's only one chapter in Jude. The Word of God says this. Verse 1920 says, Building up your most holy faith, praying. It says, when in you the come Holy together, Spirit. Jesus speaking. Father God, let the power and the presence of God, of God manifest. They're asking that Not you. Not that you've forgotten, but He wants it to be fresh on your mind by faith. Of living God. This is not a ritual. That it be for so this strong church. and so real, they'll never turn back. This is an activation of your faith. You. Revelation will come freely. Actually, in Jesus name. he wanted us to do Amen. it every time we come together. Okay, y'all can go ahead and go with the elders too. And he the, says, uh, when we come room, together, praise God. He says, have we got someone left behind to serve communion? Okay. Judge yourself, and I won't judge you. We'll serve communion now. He if says, you guys would come on forward. And Just take a minute. And, uh, and set before the Lord, praise the Lord. The Word of God says this. See, Lord, if, have I been missing out? It says, when you come doing, together, they're not going, or have I done too much for Jesus what I need? I want you to forgive me of what I've done. I know I should have done some things I didn't not do this Not that you've week. forgotten, but He wants it to be fresh upon your mind by faith. This is not I a ritual. Think for most this of the church people are in blatant sin. This I don't is know an activation you of your faith. Disobedience is sin. Actually, he wanted us to do it every time we come together. And so when you put him in remembrance, he's given you and the he says, when we come together, opportunity to say, Lord, forgive he says, me, and he will. Judge yourself. What gets and me I won't is that judge same you. portion of scripture. He said, he says, many of you Just sleep, take a minute. talking about death sleep, because you've not right set before the Lord discern the body of Christ. See, Lord, if, now I don't think that's talking. Have I been missing out about the body here, here although it could be, but I think I it's too not much getting a revelation I I of the redemptive me. power of God. I know what happened in I should salvation. have done some things I didn't do this week. So this morning, I'm going to pray I wouldn't you. think most of the church people are in blatant sin. I don't know what you do. Going to disobedience is sin to launch you out like never before. And so when you put him in remembrance, he's given you and the that you be aware of the Holy Spirit opportunity on a daily basis to say, Lord, don't get caught forgive up. me, and he will. In the daily grind, but you get liberated by his presence. Father God, what Forgive gets me is that same portion right of Scripture. He Set said, us free. we thank you, Father. Many you, of you since sleep, you're only talking sins. about death sleep, Jesus Christ of not rightly to die dis- for our sins. the body of Christ. And Father, as we take this by faith, we take it, we now see that his that's body talking broken for everyone. About the body and here, his blood was shed, be, but I think it's not getting a revelation heart, of the redemptive power of God. What happened in salvation to you? So, Father, forgive us. So, Heal our this bodies. morning, give us revelation in this season like never before. And we give Going you great thanks. Believe God to launch you out Thank like you, never God. before for everything that Jesus and that you be aware of the Holy Spirit on a daily in basis name. that you don't get caught up. Amen. Take the bread in the daily grind, but you get liberated by His presence.